Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an early look at Frank and John. This is a game that's currently in development by Bitsmith Games. Currently available on Steam Early Access for 15 bucks. This is a procedurally generated head smashing RPG with some roguelike elements. It's uh, kind of roguelike, similar to how um, Rogue Legacy would be almost, but without the legacy part of it. And I'll explain that more when we get in here. So let's take a quick look at the options. There's not a lot here, and it's a little weird. Like, I've got it on ultra low right now. It's kind of fiddling around. Ultra low, extra low, and low give me the same frame rate. Medium gives me the lowest frame rate. High gives me the same as ultra high. It's kind of weird. I'm going to just keep it on ultra low. I don't notice that much of a visual difference. It is really dark. So hopefully you guys can see this all right. I'm hoping that they add a gamma slider in here because I am I do find it tremendously dark. But I wanted to kind of point that out because it's a little weird. I'm not sure if it's just my system or if there's just some weird optimizations going on. Actually, let's put this on low because this gives me the best frame rate. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, we got auto sliders, audio sliders, sound effects and music. And apparently it doesn't save my uh, music section. Selection, not section. And you've got controls. So WASD for movement or left stick, uh, left click or arrow keys for attack, uh, or the right stick. You know, your skullcap power is F, whatever. You guys can see the controls, you know what they do. This does seem to primarily favor controllers. Uh, pretty much all of the controls on screen, like if we come down here, these are our upgrade centers. So it says B, which is actually R. So we can go and we can upgrade our, uh, well, ourselves. Our little uh, Frankenhead guy. <laughs> it's really weird. When I first saw this, I saw the video on it and I was like, what the hell? Like, seriously, what is this? <laughs> and uh, the developer was so kind to provide me with a copy that I could check out and show to you guys. So this is kind of your... Oh, fell in a hole. This is your little hub area. This is presumably your bedroom. Although you can't really interact with anything except this ball, which... You can just whack with your head. <laughs> That's pretty much it. This jukebox doesn't do anything. I'm assuming it's going to do something eventually. But it doesn't do anything right now. I'm not sure if that's later in the game. There's also a game system. Good old NES. Because NES. Yes. You can also, you can see that the camera angle is changing here. I'm scrolling the wheel. So you can scroll the wheel in and it pushes it to more of a top down or you can go isometric or a little bit less isometric but still kind of isometric so this little area here is pretty small you've also got a compass here so you can rotate the camera in your cardinal coordinates i think cardinal coordinates is the proper way to say that if not then i've been saying it wrong the whole time UI here, pretty simple. You've got your health, which is 75 out of 75. You don't want that to go down to zero because then you die. This here is your marbles, and that's your currency. So we're going to head into this little area here, a little loading dance. So here we are in the first area, and we can break different things. Sometimes these drop... Um, marbles, so they're always nice to break. Uh, combat is very similar to other twin stick games, kind of like Binding of Isaac, where, you know, it, where Binding of Isaac, you would use your arrow keys to do your shooting. This, you can use your mouse, which I actually prefer, but if you prefer the arrow keys, you can. So, I prefer the mouse, and here's a little zombie head. 
who has the same kind of ability as us, but we have a much farther reach. Uh, let's go talk to this guy. And by talk, I mean smash him with my face. Combat is hard. These guys hit like a Mack truck. When they hit you, they take chunks of life off you. And there's some enemies, which I'm actually kind of surprised. Oh, there they are. Oh. There they are. Oh, come on. Hit them. Hit them. There we go. Those guys are jerks. Like, absolute jerks. Can I, can I hit you? Apparently, I can't hit you. Oh, but I can walk into you. Okay, I expected to take damage if I walked into him, but sure, whatever. So, yeah, you just collect marbles, you go through. It's a really massive level. Like, um, if we hit Z here, we can see the level from a full top-down view. You can see the guys moving. This, I wouldn't recommend playing in. It's really, really hard to see everything, but I'm sure somebody could. Oh, hello. Oh, we got a good number. So you can move pretty quick compared to these guys. So you it's very, very easy to run past them. Oh, I got I guess I got everything. They do sometimes drop items, so you can get different hats and whatnot. There are also traps, which I'm kind of surprised I haven't run across any. Oh, nice little marble just hitting there hitting there wow and you can jump because well you can jump why not all right where are we going here let's head over here so their bodies sit around pretty well and you can see when you go into a wall or more so go behind a wall you get that nice little uh outline effect which is really really handy and i love when games do that oh that is the exit uh, did I? No, I did. I definitely did not go through this whole level. I was thinking that it was really small. So this is a trap. You don't want to step on it. Hello. Now, I wonder if I could get him to step on it. No, he's clearly smarter than I am. All right, and we've got spitters and sprinklers and runners. And I don't know what these guys are called, but damn, do they ever hurt. And these guys I hate. I really hate these guys. There we go. Luckily, they don't take a lot of damage, and I am slowly losing it. Uh, I don't think I really need to worry about that guy. Not a big deal. Oh, I got a health up, which is nice. Always nice to have health ups. And don't fall. Oh, this was fairly pointless. If you fall, I'm actually going to kind of jump off here. You end up falling and you just pop back. You know, you take damage, obviously, but you pop back to basically the center of wherever you were. Whoa. Which can be good. It can be horrible. Because if you didn't kill everything in this area, yeah, you're boned. You are boned. Oh, what's this? That's uh, nothing. Okay. All right. So let's head back to where we were. Yeah, it was this way. Don't touch the trap. There's other traps. Like some of these plants are actually traps. I uh, ran into that problem in one of my, I'm going to call it a run. Not so good. Not so good. I just stood in it too. And I'm like, what's going on? I'm getting, oh, I'm taking damage. Oh, so there are a lot of uh, upgrades in this like apparently they're looking at like over a hundred different hats that you can wear and it's really all based on hats your hats oh there we go i've got a mogul hat or is that a bomberman hat it, whatever it is is really bright what is that I don't know if that's supposed to be Bomberman or a Mogul, or Moogle, depending on how you want to call it. Which, if you're not familiar with what that is... Oh! Oh, it's Bomberman! It's Bomberman! 
Yep, this is Bomberman. Faux show. That's, uh... Actually, I don't particularly care for that. Now, the hats do have an ability. This one, I guess, doesn't. Oh, no! No, my marble! It fell down. No! Hello. Go away! So, apparently, these explosions don't actually have any kind of sound no marble thank you they don't have any sound yet but you know like i said still very early in development go oh no i died no but i got 130 marbles which is uh, quite nice all right so i gotta remember which one's a i think it's enter <laughs> yeah enter enter is a so, hopefully that uh, gets changed <laughs> fairly soon, because I find, personally, it plays better with mouse and keyboard. So, I have 120. What can I upgrade? Not all... Or, sorry, 130. I can upgrade my health, which I think would be a good thing. But, I can also... Uh, I can't upgrade any of these. So these are things that you can buy. Once you've got, like I had the Turtle Rock, which I don't have enough marbles for that. The Hedgehog's Haste, which I don't remember what that one looked like. This one was a turtle. I, I was a turtle. And Frankenbaum, which is the one that, you know, we just saw. So 120, I guess I'll hop into this one and upgrade my defense. Or... Uh, more health drop. I can't get any of those. So let's upgrade this guy. And then this is where the Rogue Legacy part comes in. So uh, let's do more damage. Once you have gone through, once you've died, you have all your marbles that you collected. But you don't get to carry them. You don't get to carry them over. And we will head back into the Garden of Denial. And now, see, we have zero. Boop. And we're in a different area. Well, yeah, I guess different area is a good way to say it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ow. Get out of here. I smash you with my head. There we go. No, don't, don't fall over. Oh, you, I'm going after you. No. Ah! Oh, I didn't get it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was weird. All right, so that, that wasn't the best idea. As I'm sure everybody in the world knew, but I wanted to do it. I wonder if I can make it over there. Let's not and say we didn't. All right. <laughs> oh, it's got some stuff down there. Doesn't really look like there's anything bad down here. So break all these, gather some stuff. Oh, what is what is this? What is what is? Seriously, what is this? It's like a little snake. It's a little snake. I have a snake on my head. <laughs> I don't know what it does. Oh, this is the plant. This is the plant that if you stand on, you take damage. See? Take damage. <laughs> don't stand on it. Nice little waterfall. Okay. I need to try something here. I haven't tried this. Oh! <laughs> okay. Geronimo! <laughs> I'm just goofing around at this point. I, I don't actually... I'm not actually really trying to do anything. Just trying to figure out what you can and cannot get away with. Uh, there are different... I can't. <laughs> that was kind of a wasted run. Um, there are different uh, things you can get. Like, there's... I saw in one of the developer videos... 
I think it was a hat that allowed him to like fly or possibly jump really, really far. I I'm not sure exactly which. And what he did is he ended he put it on and he like jumped and flew over and then eventually made his way down. It was really kind of cool. And my guess as to the whole point of this is, uh, well, how far can you go? Oh, by the way, there's rakes. Watch out for the garden rakes. Stupid gardeners leaving their goddamn rakes everywhere. But yeah, this is this is actually really quite fun. Uh, oh, that's a that's a first. I have yet to run through the bushes and actually get or notice anyway that I can get the uh, marbles out of the bushes. Well, now that that brings a whole new level of levelness. Yeah, uh, issues that I've had with it, aside from the weird uh, quality frame rate issues. If you notice, you might be thinking when watching this that I might be doing this at 30 frames a second, but I'm actually doing this at 60. I'm getting a pretty solid 80 at this uh, current quality. Oh, God. <laughs> getting a pretty solid 80 at this current quality. And this is actually a perfect time to show. It kind of looks like he's got a bit of a like a stutter to his walk. Like he's kind of vibrating a little. It's kind of weird. But again, this is still very, very early in development. I think they've done a really good job. It looks it looks amazing. Get, get, you stay by my bed. I'm gonna jump on my bed. I would love it if they made the bed bounce. <laughs> That'd be cool. But, yeah, this is a very interesting game available for $15 on Steam right now through the Early Access program. Quite fun, quite detailed. Seems to be fairly in-depth, although I'm not really that far into it. I, As you guys can plainly see, I'm quite terrible at these games. I do enjoy them, but I am very bad. <laughs> like... Like, so ter- Ooh. I don't really need the health. Oh, I can push the health. I've never had health that I, like, didn't just pick up. That's actually kind of cool. I don't think it'll, uh, stay there forever. I think it despawns after a while. But, anyway- Oh, no, you little bugger. Ah! <laughs> don't walk right into him. <laughs> Come on, zombie. Stupid zombie head. Alright, anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time.